who magnify Yahweh with me, and let us exalt his name together. Elohim furthermore said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the sons of Israel, Yahweh, the Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial name to all generations. I am the Allah and the Tao, says Master Yahweh Elohim. He who is and has been and is coming, the Almighty. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. And if another shall come in his own name, you will receive him. I have revealed your name to the children of men those whom you have given me from the world. Yours they were, and you have given them to me, and they have kept your word. From now on, I do not dwell in the world, but they are in the world, and I'm coming to join you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, that name which you have given me, so that they shall be one, just as we are. And I saw and behold, the Lamb standing on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, who have his name upon them, and the name of his Father written on their foreheads. Elohim has also greatly exalted him, and he has given him the name which is greater than all me. But in the name of Yahweh's salvation, Yahshua, every knee shall bow, which is in the heaven, and in the earth, and which is under the earth. Every tongue shall confess that Joshua the Messiah is Master Yahweh, the glory of God the Father. I have sworn by myself, the word has gone forth from my mouth in righteousness and will not turn back, that to me every knee will bow, every tongue will swear allegiance. They will say of me, Only in Yahweh are righteousness and strength, men will come to him that all who were angry at him will be put to shame. In Yahweh, all the offspring of Israel will be justified and will be ruled. Elohim furthermore said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the sons of Israel, Yahweh, the Elohim of your father, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob, have sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial name to all. Good day, class. Good day. Mind your upon the wheels, and I'll be a moderator for today's class. Please silence all cell phones and electronic devices. Welcome to the Institute of Environmental Physical Research. This is a school and not a church, and neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school is a non-profit, non-denominational, religious, and scientific research organization dedicated to an approved existence of Yahweh, our Elohim, and the operations of his eternal purpose, pattern and plan operating throughout eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision and revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry B. Kinley, in the state of Ohio in the year of 1931. We were incorporated in the state of California in the year of 1958. We hold classes in the United States, Canada, New Mexico, Jamaica, Africa, and other foreign countries. The Omaha class college meeting was established in 2016. In this school, we use, in this school, we use the true, correct, and original name and title of the Father, 
the Word of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which can be contained in the original Hebrew text. The true name of our Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It has been properly substituted by Lord. The true title of the Word of the Son is Elohim. It has been properly substituted by God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifest in or out of physical body is Joshua. It has been evolutively substituted by Jesus Christ. Now, Lord and God are titles and not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. But we now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title. But unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. That means Elohim is the title that the Creator chose for Himself. Jesus is a name, but it's an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part into any good dictionary or encyclopedia will prove that neither the Hebrew language, the Greek language, or the Latin language have any letters or characters in their alphabet that will produce the sound that is made by the same J. Neither was there a letter J in the English language until some 1,400 years after Messiah's death. So such names as Jesus and Jehovah are possible remnants of the true and the real name of the Father and His Son. Christ is a title, just like Lord and God. Now, Yahweh is pure spirit. And in this state, he is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh symbolized on this chart as a cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud. He really chose a cloud to symbolize himself because the cloud has no particular order, scripture, shape, or form. We have drawn a cloud all around the edges of this chart to show how that everything on this chart is within a cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Now Yahweh knows that man cannot perceive him in this pure spirit state. He took on shape and took on form right within himself as Elohim. This is the word of us, a super and corporal being. That is having the shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. This form could only be seen in divine vision and understood in divine revelation. Later on, this self-same spirit manifests itself in the physical body and walked the earth plane as Joshua Messiah, who the world calls Jesus Christ. Now, there's only one name given until salvation, and we must know that name. So a simple yet intelligent question you should ask yourself is, what was the name of the Savior during the time that he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title can be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Also in this school we teach by the divine pattern of the universe. It's called a divine pattern of the universe because it is Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses on top of Mount Sinai and showed him a tabernacle pattern in their vision and instructed him to build one exactly like it in the wilderness of Sinai. The pattern consists of the most holy place, the holy place, in the court round about. These three compartments make up the one tabernacle pattern. Also in this school we show proof how that everything is made and operates according to this threefold tabernacle pattern and absolutely nothing as the pattern. Our ten primary constitutional aims and objectives of the Institute are as follows. One, to help you find and know Yahweh our Elohim as he really is, and that's to exist. Two, to form a universal brotherhood of form humanity. Nucleus. To form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity and Yahshua Messiah, without distinction of nationality, race, creed, caste, sex, or color. Three, to investigate the unexplained spirit law, or so-called law of nature, and power, laid in men. Four, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, compare religion, psychology, philosophy, and modern and practical cult science. Five, to excapate current superstition, skepticism, and ignorance. Six, 
to learn, know, and understand the operations of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensation of ages. Seven, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, and Satan and demons operating in mystery and iniquity on earth through the dispensation of time. Eight, to earnestly contend for a common salvation and faith, which was once delivered to the sons and children of Yahweh. Nine, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained, that there is no other name given among men whereby men can be saved, that say the name of Yahshua Messiah. And ten, to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua Messiah with the hope of immortal glorification in the new earth day. Our watchword is peace, and our slogan is speak the truth. We will start our class off this evening. We will start our class off this evening with the opening prayer, which will be given by Mr. Rapunzel Williams. Uh, two selected songs, a guest acknowledgement, an announcement, and our scripture reading today is the Second Timothy, the third chapter, and that will be read by Dr. Stephon Williams. Let us all remain seated for the opening prayer. Father Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua Messiah. I just thank you for bringing us back once again to an, another class to learn more of your purpose, your pattern, and your plan. I'd like to thank you for, uh, for life, health, and strength today. Um, I'd like to thank you for being loving, merciful, a provider. Um, I'd like to ask you, Father, to open up our eyes and ears and heart and mind for understanding. Um, uh, may the vessel that you bring up here uh, this evening for class, let it be you being, doing the teaching. Um, all these things we ask in Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Good day again, class. Good day. We have no visiting ministers or brothers from any other branches. We have no first-time visitors or no returning visitors. And our announcements are as follows. Yashua the Rock Chicago event. Lecture and classes given by the IDMR Northside Chicago branch. The topic is soul salvation. What is the true explanation of the pattern or plan of salvation? The date, April the 5th through the 8th, 2018, at the Best Western plus Chicago Hillside, 4400 Frontridge, that's F-R-O-N-T-A-G-E Road, Hillside, 60182. For further information, call 773-931-6156. Extension 1. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great day, class. Great day. Our scriptural lesson for today's class is 2 Timothy, the third chapter. And I'll be reading from the Holy Name Bible containing the Holy Name version of the Old and New Testaments, carefully compared with ancient authorities and various manuscripts, revised by the late A.B. Trainer, the Scripture Research Association Incorporated, reprinted by Yahshua Promotions. That's Second Timothy, the third chapter. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, convetuous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontentment, fierce, despisers of those that are good, tradiators, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh having a form of worship of Yahweh, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with various lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Janus and Jabris withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their follow for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at I Iconium, and, and at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all Yahweh delivered me. Yea, and all that will live in fear of Yahweh shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Yahshua the Messiah. All the scripture that is given by inspiration of Yahweh is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of Yahweh may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I just read for you Second Timothy, the third chapter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Good day again, class. Good day. Um, I would like to remind the class to please silence our cell phones and electronic kind of devices. It's an honor and a pleasure to call on our first speaker for this evening class, which is Dr. Stefan Wynn. Dr. Wynn. Great day again, everyone. Great day. I'm thankful and grateful to Yahweh uh, brought me back to another lecture to learn more of him. I truly as I actually exist. Yes. And I like to say uh, all the time that this is a school and not a church. Yes. And um, we come to learn about our Heavenly Father and how to truly worship him. Okay? Yes. The first thing I want to get is... Um, Let's see here. Give for me, um, hmm. Go ahead and get John uh, 4 and start at 23. John 4, chapter 23rd verse. Bible. Uh-huh. Uh, John, fourth chapter, verse 23. Read, please. But the hour cometh. But the hour cometh. And now is. Now the hour is here now. Read. When the true worshippers. Well, the true worshippers, read. Shall worship the Father. Thou shall worship the Father, like the moderation states, see, that the true name of our Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Okay? Yes. So read that part right there with his Father. Right? Well, you just read. It says Father. Okay. Uh, shall worship the, the Father. For the on. true worshippers shall, shall worship the Father. Shall worship the Father Yahweh, see? Not Lord, right. not Jehovah, right. not God, not Jesus Christ, not Allah, Buddha, Krishna, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, Farah, Muhammad, Elijah, Muhammad, Joseph Smith, right? Because right. we said the hour is coming, now is, right? The right. true worshippers, you understand? Right. So, in other words, there got to be some false worshiping going on. <laughs> That's right. At the same time, you got me. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know yeah. We were once in false worship. Yeah. You understand? Know mm -hmm. But Yahweh see fit and saw fit. You got me. Yeah. That we was already predestined and chosen for the foundation of the world. You got me. Yeah. To to know about Heavenly Father and say how they truly are, how they actually exist. You understand? Know what I'm saying. Yeah. So. The hour is coming now is. Mm -hmm. Yahweh said, Well the true worshippers mm -hmm. shall worship the Father Yahweh how? In spirit in and spirit in spirit truth. and in truth. Read. For the Father seeketh such to worship now him. Now the Father Yahweh seeketh such to worship him. Read. For Elohim is spirit. For Yahweh Elohim, I'm gonna point right here, is spirit. It says Yahweh is spirit, substance, essence, formless, okay? Mm -hmm. It is abstract state of existence, okay? But it says Elohim is spirit. Yes. Say Elohim is Yahweh. Mm -hmm. You got me? In shape and form or super incorporeal form, okay? For so Yahweh Elohim is spirit. Read. For Elohim is spirit. Read. And there and they that worship and him. And they that worship Yahweh Elohim, that's the him, read. Must must read. Worship him. Must worship Yahweh Elohim how? In spirit. In spirit. And because he is spirit. And he is truth, okay? That's right. All right. Now, let's go, um, let's pick up some vision scriptures, okay. all right? I need you to give for me Habakkuk 2 and 2, all right? Okay. Proverbs 29 and 18, okay? Um, Numbers 12 and 6. And Joel 2 and 28. Okay? Right. Now, as each moderation states to say that, um, it says um, that, how do I say in the moderation that, um, uh, how do I say about, about the founder? Um. How do I say? The founder of... In the moderation, what does it say about the founder? 
It said this school was established. This, as yes, right. This school was established. Every moderator said this school was established, right? Yes. As a result. Yes. You understand? Yes. Of a divine vision. Can you see? You got to follow me now. Yes. All right? Yes. This was, the vision was as a result of a divine vision. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And a divine revelation, all right? Right. You're a 12 founder, right? Yes. In the year 1931, okay? Straight from the Father Yahweh. Okay? Yes. All right. So let's see if visions. Is this a new thing for visions uh, since 1931? Okay. Was there any vision before 1931? Let's go. Uh, back to 2 and 2. Yeah. Holy name Bible. Read. And Yahweh answered me and said. And Yahweh answered Habakkuk and said. Now this is taking place in the third age, the postal movement age at this time, okay? okay. And Habakkuk is a, a, a prophet of Yahweh, okay? okay? I say a true prophet of Yahweh. I mean truly Yahweh is in the body. Because he is the truth himself, okay? okay. So this is, this is Habakkuk, the prophet. This is taking place in the third age, the Pope of Louis age. Read. Okay. And Yahweh answered me and said, uh -huh. write the vision. Okay, now that's vision one, okay? Write the vision, okay? Yes. We're going to find out what a vision really is. But he said, write the vision, read. And make it plain upon table. And make it plain upon table. See, so what you see pictorial pictorial illustrated before you, you got me, mm -hmm. are tables, you got me? Yes. Or you can say charts, okay? Okay. Okay? You got me? Mm -hmm. And tables, you can look at the definition for yourself. It says tables, okay? What definition that we're looking for, okay? Mm -hmm. That tables is systematic data, right? Right. In rectangular shape. That's right. In rows, right? Mm-hmm. And in columns, okay? Yes. So this is what you see what Habakkuk is prophesying about, and this is the fulfillment of Habakkuk 2 and 2, or Habakkuk the second chapter, or Habakkuk 2 and 2. Read. Okay. You said, write the vision. So this vision was given to the founder, you got me? Yes. Which was prophesied to come in, you got me, at the end of this age, which we, we now reside in, the fourth age, present kingdom age, you got me? Yes. So that prophecy has been fulfilled, you got me? Yes. It's not returning back to Yahweh boy, you understand? Right. When Yahweh speaks something, it's surely going to come to pass, you got me? It's not right. going to return back to Yahweh boy, you got me? Right. So this is the fulfillment of the prophecy, you got me? Mm -hmm. That's taken place because they are, these are tables and charts, you got me? Mm -hmm. And they are also placed on these tables, you got me? Right. You got me? This is called our 40 play chart. You understand? Yes. And you have the words right here. Plate one. Okay? okay. You got me? Yes. Plate one is called the pattern. You got me? Yes. Plate two, theosophy. You understand? Mm -hmm. Plate three, got the God here truly supposed to be rendered some part of nature. You got me? Yes. Plate four, cosmogony. You got me? Mm -hmm. Plate five, chaosis. You got me? Yes. Plate six, first day. Plate seven, second day. Plate eight, third day. You got me? Mm -hmm. Fourth or plate nine, fourth day. You got me? Mm -hmm. Plate ten, mm -hmm. the fifth day. You understand? Yeah. You got plate eleven, the sixth day. You got me? You got plate twelve, the division between male and female, right? Mm -hmm. Plate thirteen, migratory pattern plate. You got me? Mm -hmm. Plate fourteen, angelic trans transgression plate. You got me? Yeah. At damage transgression is the plate 15 plate. Plate 16 is antediluvian apostasy. You got me? Yeah. Plate 17 is birth translation of Enoch. Plate 18, Noah preparation entering the ark. Okay? Yeah. Plate 19 is the flood. Plate 20 is beginning of post-diluvian age. You understand? Yeah. With, the, with the age that you're reading from, you understand? Mm -hmm. That's a better have a divine vision. You understand? Yeah. That's the post-diluvian age, the third age, okay? Plate 21 is Noah's vineyard and his death. Plate 22 is construction tower of Babel. You understand? Mm -hmm. Plate 23 is Abraham and King Melchizedek, all right? Mm -hmm. Plate 24 is mag migratory pattern. You got me? Mm -hmm. Plate 25 is his pattern. Plate 26 is history. Plate 27 is conception, birth, and flight. You got me? Mm -hmm. Plate 28 is the return and memorial Passover, okay? 
Play 29 is baptism and ministry, okay? okay. Play 30 is miracles and transfiguration, you got me? Yeah. Play 31 is death, burial, resurrection, ascension play, okay? Play 32 is Pentecost, all right? Okay. Play 33 is persecution. Play 34 is conversion of Gentiles, all right? Resurrection reconfirms play 35. Play 36 is 1 John 5, 5th chapter, verse 7, 8, all right? Play 37 is apostasy, all right? Play 38 is eschatology, all right? Mm -hmm. Play 39 is new heaven, new earth, play 39. Play 40 is Omega. You understand? Yeah. And this is called a 40 plate chart. You got me? Yeah. So these are, these are tables. You got me? That has plates on them. You understand? Yeah. That we eat off of and get spiritual principles <laughs> off these plates. You yeah. got me? Mm -hmm. That's sitting on these tables. You got me? Yeah. There's some great eating going on. You understand? <laughs> yeah. You understand? Y'all yeah. always feeding our souls. You understand? Yeah. You understand? Spiritually and psychologically, you understand, we're eating spiritual food and drinking spiritual drink today. You got me? Yeah. All right, because we're on the side of the cross, you understand? Mm -hmm. You know, all physical corner orders to the cross, you got me? Right. And ushering, uh, 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 ushering the New Testament, which is written in the, written in the heart and mind of man, you understand? Yeah. All right? You understand? Yeah. Continue. Write the vision and make it plain upon table. That's Rebecca 2 and 2. Yes. You know? Rebecca 2 and 2, what the name Bible? Yes. Read. Um, you know. Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. All right, so write the vision, make it plain upon tables. All right, read. That everyone may read it. Now, first. anyone can come and, and come and look at these plates, or look at these, look at this table that has plates on them. You got me? Mm -hmm. And it's and it's very. Read that part again, right there. Uh, right here. Okay. Right that here. everyone may read it. You come, you come here and look at these plates. You got me? You can read them and look at them and be fluently. They're not hard to understand, okay? Yeah. Read. For the vision is yet for an appointed All time. All right, see, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. So God, so the appointed time that the vision came in at the appointed time was on June 6, 1931, at 9 o'clock in the morning, you got me? Yeah. In Springfield, Ohio, you got me? Yeah. All right. Read. But at the end, it shall speak okay, and not so, lie. All right. So the vision is that we have to, at the close of the end of this present kingdom age, you got me? Mm -hmm. And the vision is speaking and it's not lying, you got me? Yeah. All right. Go to your next one. Proverbs. Proverbs 29, 18. Yeah. So that's one vision that we, that we uh, 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 confirm, you got me? Yeah. Or proven, Okay. That's how y'all always communicates with, with, with man. Always has and, and always will be, you got me? Yeah. Probably we'll be gonna find another bitch. Read. Proverbs twenty nine eighteen. Yes, the whole name Bible. Read on. Where there is no prophetic vision. Said, where there is no prophetic vision, read on. The people perish. The people perish or the people are dying, meaning they're dying spiritually, psychologically, or dying in their soul, okay? Read. But he that keepeth the law. But he that keepeth the law. Happy is he. All right. So where there is no prophetic vision, the people perish. You got me. That's two vision. Read. No, no, that's good. Go to the next one. Was it what you got? Numbers Number twelve and six. Yeah. yeah. Then get Joel two and twenty eight. Whole name Bible. Read on. Twelve and uh, numbers twelve and six from the Holy Name Bible. Okay, sorry. Number twelve and six from the Holy Name Bible. Mm -hmm. And he said, Hear now my words. Now he said, Hear now my words, read. And he said, Hear now my words. Uh -huh. Is there be a prophet among you? Now at this time he's speaking of speaking of Moses and, and Miriam and, and Aaron, okay? Okay. Concerning their jealousy about Moses, okay? <laughs> yeah. Why Yahweh, how Yahweh deal with Moses, mm -hmm. he, deal with, he don't deal with them at the same deal with Moses. We are. Uh, if there be a prophet among you, If there I, be a prophet among you, read. I, Yahweh. I, Yahweh, read. Will make myself known. And now, how you going to make yourself known to a man? In a vision. In a, read. And I will speak unto you. No, I need to read it. I need, I need you here to read that. Read, read, okay. right here. 
and I will speak to him in a, in a dream. Come back up. Okay. Myself no until him in a vision. No, we've got to be no, okay. up. Come back up now. Come on. And he said, hear now my word. Uh -huh. If there be a prophet among you. There might not be one, but if you claim to be a prophet among you, read. I, Yahweh. I, Yahweh. Will make myself known. I will make himself known to mankind, read. Unto him in a vision. In a vision, read. Now this is Moses now. You got me credit for writing numbers, you got me? Yes. Now Moses is having a vision, you got me? Yes. All right? So this is the vision itself, you got me? Right. In other words, these are pictorial illustrations, you got me? Mm -hmm. You got me? Mm -hmm. Of of the vision. He is true, he is the vision himself, you got me? Mm -hmm. Yahweh Elohim is the vision himself, you understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With Yahweh in shape and form, as we already as already pointed right here, see? You got me? Mm -hmm. He says, Elohim, see, super incorporeal form manifested in visions to Moses, you got me? Mm -hmm. John and the prophets, you got me? You see how that go? Mm -hmm. So we gotta so we gotta pick up. You gotta get Exodus 24, 9 and 10. Okay, Revelation is 3 and 14. Okay? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 6, 1 and 4. Isaiah. 6. Mm -hmm. 1 and 4, okay? okay? Matthew 17, verse 1 and 2. All right? Okay. Um, there's another one. Let's, uh, get, um, 2 Corinthians 11. Okay? 2 Corinthians 11. Let me just make sure that's... Right one. I mean, Second Corinthians 12 chapter. Excuse me. It's Acts the seventh chapter. Uh, uh, uh. Acts seven chapter. Mm -hmm. And um, Acts seven and fifty five. Start there. That Second Corinthians chapter twelve. Yes. And verse. Just okay. write it down. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I uh, have one uh, another one here. Let me see. Um, let me see. Um, yeah. Let's, um, let me see. Acts 9, okay? And verse, start at verse, um, 3. Okay. Come on, stop. I Yahweh. I need to know when you start I'm back. We read numbers, from. numbers twelve, verse ten. Read. And he said, "Hear now my word. Uh -huh. If there be a prophet among you, uh -huh. I Yahweh will make myself known unto him in a vision. Okay. And will speak unto him in a dream." That's three places we find did it right. <laughs> so this is not the first time that man was was shown. You got me a vision, you got me, of the creator in shape and form, you got me? Yes. All right? Been doing that throughout throughout the ages, okay? Yes. Just, just the beginning of time, or you can say it like that. That's good. Go to the next one. Joel. No, let's get, get, no, get Exodus first. Get Exodus 24, 9, and 10. Can you see me right here? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead and get Exodus 24, 9 and 10. Hold the name Bible. Read on. Exodus 24, 9 and 10. All right. Then went up Moses. Then went up Moses. And Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu. All right. And 70 of the elders of Israel. Uh huh. Read. And they saw the Elohim of Israel. All right, so now they saw. The Elohim, meaning Yahweh in shaping form, is Yahweh Elohim, you got me? They saw him. See, he himself is the vision, you got me? Not these, in other words, not these physical charts that you can, that I'm touching on, you got me? This is a pictorial illustration, you got me? This right here, he himself is a reality, you got me? He is the vision himself, you got me? And he speaks, 
You got me? He moves, you understand? Mm -hmm. He creates, you understand? He reveals himself, you got me? Yeah. To whoever he wants to reveal himself to, you got me? You understand? Yeah. In this form here. You got me? You can't, you can't be seen in this form. You got only in divine vision, you got me? Mm -hmm. It says right here, panoramic vision of Elohim, you got me? Mm -hmm. To Moses, the vision of Elohim in incorporeal form, you got me? Which is right here. We already established that. Is that right? That's right. It's the visionary form. I'm going to say it like that, you got me? Mm -hmm. With the Yahweh in shape and form, you got me? One, two, three, meaning three states of existence, you got me? Mm -hmm. Two manifestations of himself, you got me? Mm -hmm. You got me? Yeah. All right, so this, so Yahweh Elohim is the vision itself, okay? Yeah. All right. So, so, so what does it say? And they saw the Elohim of Israel. All right, they saw the Elohim of Israel. You understand? All right, who the world calls God. You got me? Mm -hmm. But it's truly Yahweh Elohim in visionary, shaping form, super corporeal form. You got me? Heavenly anthropomorphic being, okay? So 74 witnessed and saw him appear to him, you understand, with, the, with inside himself, you understand, you got me? Yeah. Um, I just want to pick something up here, so I got to got to come, I got to come down, come, come down here and come back up, all right? Okay. So we, now we, 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 you already read Habakkuk 2 and 2, you already read Proverbs 29, 18, right? Mm -hmm. You read Numbers 12 and 6. All right? So we understand that the man Moses was credited for writing the first five books of your Bible, right? Right? Okay. okay. Um, I want you to um, just, just right where you at, right where you at, go to, go, to, um, just go to the 16th verse of, of, of Exodus 24. Just turn the page. You should be on the page. Okay. The 16th verse. Okay. Exodus 24 and 16. Okay. And the, and the Holy Name Bible. Uh -huh. And the glory of Yahweh abode upon Mount Sinai. All right. So the glory of Yahweh abode upon Mount Sinai. Read. And the cloud covered it six days. All right. So it says Yahweh's spirit manifesting within the cloud. You got me? So the cloud covered. See, the cloud symbolizing eternity. You got me? Yeah. So Moses was called to the third heaven. You got me? Mm -hmm. Which you can also say called into eternity. You got me? Yeah. You got me? Yeah. Not fleshly, but it's inner man. You got you got understand? Yeah. Well, Yahweh deals with that inner man, okay? And he said the glory or the cloud covered it six days, right? Yeah. Cold in there, right? Yeah. So we gotta get that we gotta get that what happened during them six days before it got to the seventh day, right? Yeah. So then you jump over to Genesis one. You ain't gotta read it. Okay. But you go ahead and read this, that first verse. And the reason why I say that is because you got all this coming in. You got me? Which mm -hmm. already went over all the 40 plates on this chart, right? right? See, it's called the divine pattern of the universe. Mm -hmm. Okay? Up here it says Elohim, the archetype, original pattern of the universe. You got me? Mm -hmm. He himself is the archetype, meaning original. He is the pattern of all things are the pattern of the universe, you got me? That's right. Everything is everything in, in creation, whether it be invisible or visible, you got me? Mm -hmm. It's threefold is makeup, you got me? Mm -hmm. Representing the Father Yahweh, Elohim, and Yahshua, you got me? Mm -hmm. These three are one. You got me? Mm -hmm. You gotta understand what I'm talking about? He's all of that. You got me? He's the whole brand band. You got me? Right. He's the Alpha. And the Omega, you mm -hmm. got me? He's the author and the finisher, you understand? Know he's the yeah. beginning and the end, you understand? Yeah. He's the creator and the destroyer, you got me? Yeah. And everything in between, you got me? Yeah. Ain't that beautiful? Yeah. Okay, so so Moses is having a read one. See, you see, the creation was already existing before Moses had his vision, right? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and in reality, Moses saw himself in the vision. You, you got what I'm talking about? Yeah. Well, Yahweh took him back and did, did a rerun for him, you got me? Mm -hmm. So he seen, Moses seen the pattern of theosophy and, and the support of nature, cosmogony and chaos in the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day. You got me? Division, you got me? Mm -hmm. Between male and female, you got me? Negatory pattern, and your transgression, academic transgression, you got me? Antilogian apostasy, 
birth translation of Enoch, nor preparation entering the ark, the flood, the beginning of the post moving age. You got me? Noah is seeing all of this. You got me? Mm -hmm. Seeing Yahweh Elohim. You got me? Yes. So part of nature, break himself down. You got me? Yes. Or transmutate. You got me? Into these six days mm -hmm. of creation. You got me? Yes. And Moses witnessing this. You got me? Yes. You understand? In a divine vision. You got me? Yes. You understand? He just laying there and watching Yahweh Elohim do his thing. You understand? Mm -hmm. He's a witness to this. You understand? Yes. So now, I'm picked up the birth of Moses, you got me? Mm -hmm. So we understand that Moses was born down here in the land of Egypt, you understand? In Exodus, the second chapter, you got me? Okay. We understand that Moses' mother put him in, in an ark of bull rush, you got me? Mm -hmm. And put him in the river flank, you got me? Three months old, he's going down the river. And, 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 and Pharaoh's daughter, you got me? Mm -hmm. Recovered the baby, lifted him up out of the water, you got me? So it's like a death and a burial and a resurrection. And you understand what I'm yes. talking about? All pointing to Yahshua Messiah, you got me? Yes. We went through a death, burial, resurrection, ascension, you got me? Mm -hmm. Carried on the earth plane 40 days and sent up to the Father, and 10 days later poured out his, poured out his Holy Spirit, you got me? On the day of Pentecost, June 6th, you got me, 9 o'clock in the morning. On the Jews first and seven years later on the Gentiles, you got me? Right. You got me? So now, we understand that Moses was raised in Pharaoh's household, is that right? Okay. When he came, when he became 40 years old, you got me? Mm -hmm. It came into his heart to visit his Hebrew brethren, you got me? You understand? Yeah. So he sees the Hebrew fighting the Egyptian, you got me? So Moses went over there and he looked this way and looked that way, you got me? Mm -hmm. Trying to see was anybody going to witness what he about to do, you got me? Mm -hmm. So he, he slew the Egyptian, you got me? Mm -hmm. That's a death right there, got to show, it's definitely going to show, going to show, show a blood, is that right? Mm -hmm. Bury him in the sand, it's like a death burial, you got me? And Moses resurrected him out of there, you got me? Mm -hmm. Death burial resurrection, you got me? So now Moses is 40 years old, he leaves him out of here. 40 years in Midian or, or in the holy place, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yahweh appeared to him in Exodus 3. It's the burden of whip. That's the vision. You got me. Yeah. You got the angel in the bush. Yeah. You got Elohim in the bush. You got Yahweh in the bush. You got me? Yeah. These three are one. You got me? Yeah. The first time he appeared to Moses, you got me, and, and introduced his name to him. You got me? For the first time to mankind. You got me? Yeah. And told him to come. Come down, come, mm -hmm. come down, come back down here, because I'm down here, you mm -hmm. got me? And I see the affliction, the cry of my people, That's you got right. me? I need you to come back down here, mm -hmm. and when you come back down here, the mother asks him, what should I say when, when, I, when, when I come back down here, mm -hmm. you got me? Because Moses was down here, that all these different deities yeah. that they worship, you got me? Mm -hmm. All these idol deities, you got me? Mm -hmm. So he's going to make a distinction. First, I want you to tell them, say that Ai, after Ai, means I will be what I will to be, you understand? Has sent me out to you. And more than that, tell what my name is, you got me? Yeah. My name is Yahweh, the Elohim. Abraham, the Elohim, I, the Elohim of Israel, you got me? Has sent me out to you. This Yahweh is my name forever unto all generations, you got me? Yeah. So we understand. Come back down there, give them the name, you got me? Mm -hmm. That's Exodus 3, you, then you fast forward go to Exodus 12, you got me? Mm -hmm. On uh, uh, In the month of April, of course, possible by April, is that right? Mm -hmm. So we understand that doing about to have a Passover feast in the first month of the year, April, of course, possible by April, on April 10th to the 14th, right? Mm -hmm. So to take out a lamb, you got me? Mm -hmm. A male of the first year, out of the sheep or the goat, you got me? Mm -hmm. And examine this lamb for days, you got me? Mm -hmm. Drain the blood off this lamb, pour that, pour that blood in the basin, you got me? Mm -hmm. And you're going to strike the door posts, the three, two side posts, the upper door posts, dip in the basin, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to roast this lamb, and you're going to have a menu, roast this lamb, bitter herbs, and unleavened bread, you got me? Mm -hmm. That's all showing the unity of the spirit right there, you got me? So they have to be the, so the job able to deliver them out of there by, by a mighty hand. Well, they got to have the name in them. Yeah. They got to have the lamb in them. Yeah. They got to have the blood in them. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. Don't we have blood inside of us? Yes, we do. All right, see? 
and bitter herbs, you got me? Mm -hmm. And he resurrected up out of there, you got me? So now, then, then they come up out here. It's about a 50, 53 day, day journey, you got me? Mm -hmm. After 19, okay? So, so Moses goes up for the first time in Exodus 19. And Yahweh speaks. Now he want a marriage. He, this is going to be a marriage ceremony to the children of Israel. You got me? Mm -hmm. Yahweh is the husband. Children of Israel is the bride. You got me? Mm -hmm. So I want, my, I want my bride to clear for three days. You got me? On mm -hmm. June 3rd or June 6th. Because on June 6th, I'm going to speak down. You got me? Mm -hmm. Law, commandments, and judgments. You got me? On June 6th at 9 o'clock in the morning. Y'all mm -hmm. be ready. You got me? Mm -hmm. That's so, so that's, that's Moses' first time going to the mouth. You got me? You come on back down. Then he comes, he goes back up here. He's 80 years old here when, he, when uh, Yahweh appeared to him in the burning bush. You got me? Mm -hmm. So he comes back. So he comes back out. So now that's when you pick up the second trip of Exodus 24. You got me? Mm -hmm. That's where you at. And so it says the cloud covered, covered, covered the, the mount, right? Right. And then you've got a coal in there, yes. and right? Mm -hmm. So that's when you go to X, that's when you start reading from Genesis 1. Okay. In the beginning, in the beginning of what? In the beginning of Moses' vision, you got me? Yes. That's what people see, they, they don't know that that's because right. they haven't had a divine vision, divine revelation, you got me? That's you ain't got to write it down, just want to explain okay. that to you, you got me? Okay. So that's where we at, you got me? Yes. This is all results of a divine vision. The, the Bible is nothing but. Divine visions okay. accompanied by the Bible revelation. Yahweh appeared to man and told him to write as they was moved by Yahweh El Yahshua inside of them. Belts, you got me? Yeah. He was doing speaking through them mm -hmm. or moving them. You understand? Mm -hmm. You got me? Yeah. So, um, that's good. I need you to get, um, uh, you just come out after 24. Yeah. Get from me, um, um, Isaiah 6, chapter, verse 1 through 4. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 6, verse 1 through 4. Mm -hmm. Holy Name Bible. Mm -hmm. In the year that King Uzziah. Uzziah died. Okay, so this is the prophet Isaiah having the divine vision. You're going to read it. That's what, he goes, that's what he's explaining. Of Yahweh El him. He got me appearing to him. You understand? Okay. Like he appeared to Moses in, in, in the other 73. You got me? Yeah. Okay? Appeared to Rebecca. You got me? Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not sure who's correct for writing Proverbs, but still at all, you got a lot of places, okay? It's just okay. verifying the business, read. I saw also Yahweh sitting up on a throne. Okay, I also saw Yahweh, I'm going to use this thing toward the picture right here, coming up a pattern with the, uh, the Ark of the Covenant right here, you got me? Okay. Yahweh is sitting on the mercy seat of sitting on the throne, read. High and lifted up. High and lifted up, read. And his reign filled the temple. And his train filled the temple, okay. read. Uh, ab above it stood the seraphim. And then above it stood the, the seraphim, read. Each one had six wings. Each one had six wings. Read. With twine. Read. He covered his face. Read. And with twine, he covered his feet. Read. And with twine, he did fly. Uh huh. And one cried unto another mm -hmm. and said, mm -hmm. Holy, holy, holy yeah. is Yahweh of hosts. Uh huh. The whole earth is full of his glory. Uh, all right. See, the whole earth is full of Yahweh's glory. Read. And and the post of the door moved at the voice of him uh -huh. that cried, All right. and the house was full with smoke. All right, so the house was filled with, filled. The, with the smoke or filled with the support of nature, meaning Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, you got me? Yeah. These three are one, you got me? Yes. Yeah. If they ain't filled your house yet, <laughs> you will want him to fill your house or fill this house with smoke, you got me? Or with his spirit, you got me? That's right. It's a part of nature of Yahweh, you got me? Yes. Yeah. All right. Joel. Go ahead and Joel 2 and 28. Joel 2 and 28. So we just validating business. Okay. Read. Joel 2 and 28, Holy Name Bible. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass. Now, it shall come to pass. See how the name is called Joel. You got yes. it? Meaning... 
Elohim is inside of Joel, Joel, you got me, Ezekiel, you got me, mm -hmm. Mikeel, you understand? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. It's Elohim, Yahweh, Elohim in the body, you understand? Yeah. So you got Isaiah, see? Mm -hmm. Isaiah, Obadiah, Jeremiah, you understand? Yahweh, Elohim was inside of them men, okay? okay. Getting in out of bodies, doing what he wanted to. You understand? Know I will be what I want to be. be. You, know, you got me? Mm -hmm. So, Joel, if this is a prophet now, this prophesied for something that's going to come in. It's like a Becca prophesied something's going to come in. You got me? Mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in, in the present kingdom age, where we now reside in the fourth age, present kingdom age, we are in the fifth and sixth dispensation. You understand? Read. And it shall come to pass. So it's going to come to pass. Read. Afterward. After what? See, after this right here. See, after the death. The bearer of the resurrection, the tearing on earth plane, he resurrected the quickening spirit. He resurrected, in other words, he resurrected back to the form. You got me? That he was in before he got in the body. You got me? Yes. Same one. In or out of a body. The body was consumed in the tomb. You understand? Yes. He resurrected the quickening spirit. He got him back into his superincorporeal form. You got me? Yes. You got me? So after the. So after those days, after the death, burial, resurrection, and ascension of the Yahshua Messiah, out for the Holy Spirit, you got me? Mm -hmm. After those days, read. That I will pour out my spirit upon all people. You see how that go? Mm -hmm. After the death, burial, resurrection, you got me? Ascension, he's going to pour out his spirit. That's, that's prophecy. He really prophesied what he's going to do the next time around, you got me? Mm -hmm. You got me? Because he's been, he been, he been, he been death, going to do death, burial, resurrection, you got me? Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you mm -hmm. got me? Don't we go through a death, burial, resurrection every day? Yeah, you know, we do. Resurrect, to resurrect us up, you got me? That's right. Who's that pointing to? You That's know what I'm right. saying? That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like the seasons. You got me? You got, yeah. a, you got a death of that's death of the trees and yeah. the grass, the leaves fall off. You got me? Mm -hmm. There's going to be buried in rain or snow. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then it's going to resurrect. You got me? Mm -hmm. Back in the springtime. You know what I'm saying? Then it's going to come into straight fruition. Yeah. You got me? Or, or at its Highest peak zenith, you got me? Mm -hmm. You got me? It's like the sun right here. That's you got right. me? The S U N, you got me? Mm -hmm. Pointing to the S O N. Oh, yeah. You got to say that? That's how I go. That's, 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 that's an every, a every year cycle. That's it's right. every that's day right. cycle. That's, that's right. All right. Read on. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Read. Your old man shall dream dreams. Read. Your young man. Now they're going to be again. Ain't that something? You see how that go? Yeah. But y'all ain't been dealing with mm -hmm. mankind all the way through. You got me? Yeah. For no new thing. You got me? Right. For one to have a divine vision yeah. coming by the divine revelation. You got me? Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful thing. That's see? Beautiful. see? And we and we and we are the chosen ones that Yahweh has revealed and show himself in visions and revelation to us today. That's right. You got me? You understand? Mm -hmm. All praise be the Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see how it go? Um, I have Revelations, Matthew. Okay, just hold that, hold that real quick. Now I want you to get from me Exodus. Okay. Um, let me Exodus get Exodus thirty four. Exodus thirty four. Just wanna. Um, Exodus 34. Um, yeah, Exodus 34. And yeah. Yeah, Exodus 34 from 1 to. Um, Five and all for one six, okay. Mm -hmm. Then go to Exodus forty when you get done with that. And let me see. Just want to um, pick this right up if you want to move on from there. Uh, let me see here. Um, let me see. Um, just bear with this viewing audience. Let me see. I'm trying 
trying to see. Oh, yeah, get get Exodus 40, let's start in verse 1, okay, after you come from there. Um, let's try to get right to the spot, let me see. Uh, yeah, and you see, get, get um, yeah, verse 1, 2, and 3, and then go to verse, um, go to verse 20. Okay. And... And to, at 21. Okay, go ahead and read, please. Okay, Exodus 34, mm -hmm. 1 through 6, for the name of So, what I'm doing, I'm picking up what well, well, Moses was up here, and Yahweh gave him these tables of stone, rolling these tables of stone, right? So, when he, so before they come back down, then Yahshua, well, Yahweh tells Moses, I hear a cry in the camp down here, you got me? Mm -hmm. You got me before you're coming back down here, you understand? Yeah. Because truly, you see, the esoteric secret was that Joshua, who was truly Joshua, was Moses' minister, you got me? Yeah. And truly was the creator himself with Moses, you got me? You see, in other words, he had the same place everywhere at the same time, you got me? Yeah. He's here and here, you got me? Mm -hmm. So we're telling Moses, I see this, I'm witnessing this, I hear this, mm -hmm. you got me? I hear a cry in the camp. I hear a partying going on, having orgies and things like that, right? Mm -hmm. So Moses come down, see how these tables up like this? Yeah. He's seeing the act, so he wax hot and breaks yeah. the first table of stone, you understand? Know yeah. You understand? Know or breaking, breaking Yahweh's heart, or breaking that, you know, that covenant, or breaking mm -hmm. that marriage, you understand? Mm -hmm. Work, see, it works with this deity, you get made them an Elohim, you understand? Know yeah. Wax hot, broke the first table of stone, you understand? Know yeah. Like to the first, or the or like unto the first covenant, I said like that, okay? Okay. So now these are the second table of stone, you understand? Okay. Read on. And Yahweh. In, in, in other words, it can't be complete. You got me? Right. So all the furnishings is put into the tabernacle, mm -hmm. you understand? Yeah. And all the nine vessels, you understand? Mm -hmm. And Yahweh is ten, me and ten himself, who makes it complete, is gonna is gonna appear. You got me? Mm -hmm. In the most holy place upon the mercy seat, you understand? In the cloud, you got me? Mm -hmm. So the first table of stone quite naturally couldn't go in. You got me? Right. You got me? Mm -hmm. They ain't completed yet, so they go right. in. You got me? So he goes, so the second one is going to go in. Read on. And Yahweh said it to Moses. Uh huh. Uh, read. The two tables of stone. Now, here you two more tables of stone, read. Like. Unto the first. Like unto the first, read. And I will write upon these tables. I, Yahweh, will write upon these tables, read. The words that were in the first table. All right, read. Which thy broken. Read. And be ready in the morning. Read. And come up in the morning uh -huh. unto Mount Sinai. Uh huh. And present thyself there to me uh -huh. in the top of the mount. Uh -huh. And no man shall come up with thee. Okay, so this is the third trip now. Read. Neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount. Uh -huh. Neither let the flock nor herd see before that mount. Read. And he shoot two tables of stone. Now, I'll tell you how far to go. Yes, you go, go ahead, read. And he he two tables of stone uh -huh. like to the foot. Uh -huh. And Moses rose up early in the morning Read. and went up into Mount Sinai. All right, this is the third trip. See, Exodus 19, the first trip. Exodus 24, the second trip. Exodus 34, the third trip. Read. And, as Yahweh had commanded him uh -huh. and told in, and took in his hand the two tables of stone. Read. And Yahweh. Come on. And Yahweh um, Read, please. descended in the cloud. Right, so Yahweh descended in the cloud. So Yahweh took on the form of Yahweh Elohim, you got me? And Yahweh Elohim descended in the cloud, we are coming down. You got to understand? Yes. Read. And stood with him there. Read. And proclaimed the name of Yahweh. Read. And Yahweh passed by before him uh -huh. and proclaimed Yahweh, uh -huh. Yahweh El, read. merciful and gracious. That's who he is, read. Long suffering, Long -suffering. and abundant uh -huh. in goodness 
and truth. Mm -hmm. That was it. All right, so go to the next one, Exodus 40. Exodus 40. The third trip represents Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. You got me? Yes. These three are one. You see that? Yes. All right? And so we understand the tables had, had three on one side and seven on the other, all pointing to Yahweh, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. You got me? Yes. Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, the three and the seven, the seven ages, the seven different saints. You got me? Yes. You're walking all the way down, see? Conquering. All through the age, ain't that something? Okay. Read on. Exodus 40, 1, 2, and 3, and 20 and 21, holy name and Bible. Read. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, uh -huh, saying, uh -huh. On the first day of the first month. So the first day of the first month, meaning, meaning April 1st, read. Shall I set up the tabernacle? Now you're going to set this tabernacle up now. It's gonna be just, this, this, this is taking place. Read the whole 40th chapter for yourself. It's going, it's going to be the, 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 the uh, um, how can I say it? The, uh, uh, it said set up, meaning, meaning just the final. You got me? Mm -hmm. It's all going to be, it's all going to come together. It's going to be finished right now. You understand? Mm -hmm. Completion. Exodus 40. Read. On the first day of the first month uh -huh. shall I set up the tabernacle uh -huh. of the tent of the congregation. Read. And thou shalt put therein the ark of the testimony. All right, so put the ark of the testimony or put the ark of the testimony or put the tables, you got me, mm -hmm. inside the ark. Uh -huh. the you got me, of, of the ark of, of, of the testimony, uh -huh. you got me tables inside the ark. Read on. And cover the ark with the veil. Mm -hmm. Come on. 20. And he took and put the testimony into the ark. So he put the table of testimony into the ark. Read. And sat the throat on the ark uh -huh. and put the mercy seat above upon the ark. Read. And he brought the ark into the tabernacle uh -huh. and set the veil of the cover uh -huh. and covered the ark uh -huh. of the testimony uh -huh. as Yahweh commanded uh -huh. Moses. All right. Okay. okay. So that's the second. So go to, uh, go to, um, yeah, okay. so, so the second testimony is like unto the, in other words, it's like it's the new covenant you know what I mean? It's an inside thing now, you got me? Yeah. That's what it points, the type of shadow. It says, see, see he brought the, the uh, old covenant to an end, or the first testament to an end, okay? Mm -hmm. Or the first covenant to an end, okay? You got me? Yeah. Like the breaking of the, like breaking, you know? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They broke it. You got me? Yeah. They couldn't keep it no way, but it stood it all. The broken, the first one was broken, mm -hmm. the second one was one set in. Work, you got me? Mm -hmm. So it's in mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. you see? So New Testament is written in, you mm -hmm. got me? The, not out, but written in. And not on tables of stone, you got That's me? Right. But on tables of the heart of your soul, you got me? See yes. the heart here in the heart mm -hmm. here? You got me? Yes. So it says New Testament is written in the heart or mind, you got me? Yes. So before we, before, before we get there, get Exodus, I mean not Exodus, Ezekiel 36, I believe it is. Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel 36. Um, verse, uh, Ezekiel 36, verse 24, 25, and 26, and uh, 27, 28. Okay? Okay. 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 Come on now. Just take some pages. Look at twenty pages. Come on. Thirty-six and twenty-four. Exodus thirty-six twenty-four. Her name Ezekiel, Bible. Ezekiel, sorry, Ezekiel thirty-six. Ezekiel thirty-six. Twenty-four. And twenty-four. You got it down to where you're supposed to go to. Yes. All right. Come on, speak. Go. Four. I will take you from among the heathen. I will take you from among the heathen, read. And gather you out of all countries, uh -huh. and will bring you into your own land. Uh -huh. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. All right, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, read. And ye shall be clean uh -huh. from all your filthiness. Uh -huh. remember, he, remember he told them back here, clean up? Yes. You got them three days? Yes. 
This is Ezekiel reading. And from all your idols uh -huh. will I cling to you. Right. A new heart also will I give you. All right. She like the second table of stone. I'm going to give you a new heart. Read. Come on. And a new spirit. Read. Will I put in, in within you. Read. And I will take away the stony heart. I will take away the first tables or the stony heart. Read. Out of your flesh. Read. And I will give you a heart of, of flesh. Read. And I will put my spirit inward All right. within you. Read. And cause you to walk in my statue. Read on. And ye shall keep my judgment. Read. And do them. Read. 28. And ye shall dwell in the land that I give to your father. Uh -huh. And ye shall be my people. Read. And I will be your Elohim. That's great. All right. Now go to Jeremiah 30. First chapter, verse 31 to 34. Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 31, yes. verse 31 to 34. You gotta move a little faster now. Jeremiah 31st chapter, verse 31 to 34. Holy name Bible. Holy name Bible, Read. Jeremiah 31. And 34. No, Jeremiah, 31st chapter, verse 31 through 34. Okay, we're in the Bible. Behold, the day cometh, says Yahweh, uh -huh. that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel Read. and with the house of Judah. Read. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. All right, now according to that first covenant I made with their fathers. Read. In the day that I took them by the hand read. to bring them out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh, read. which my covenant they broke. They broke the covenant. See, read. Although I was a husband. All husband. right. See, so married them right there. You got me? So they broke the marriage vow. You understand? Yes. Even though I was a good husband unto them. You understand? Yes. Now you got to get, you got to get, uh, uh, um, write it down, Hoshea 2 and 16. Hoshea 2 and 16. Hoshea 2 and 16. Just write it down. Yes, sir. I've got it right here if you don't get it in time. Hoshea 2 and 16. Yes. Continue to read. <clears throat> Continue, please. Okay. Um, Continue, please. Yes, sir. I will put my law in their inward part. Right. And write it in their heart. Uh-huh. And will make their el and be their element, uh -huh. and they shall be my people. All right. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor. All right. So there won't be no man doing no teaching us on this side. Read. And every man his brother. Why is that? Read. Saying, now know ye Yahweh. Uh huh. Read. For they shall all know. We don't know him. How read? From the least of them. Until the greatest of them, uh -huh. says Yahweh. That's verse 34? Yes, sir. That's good. For, Is that verse 34? Yes, sir. Are you done with no. it? No. Read. For I will forgive all iniquity, uh -huh. and I will remember their sins no more. All right. So, uh, get Hoshea. Just read it right here. Hoshea 2 and 16. Holy name Bible. Just want to pick up that husband. The husband part real quick. Okay, oh, oh, see, uh, see the husband back here, Exodus 19. You got me? Yeah. Husband over here in uh, um, Jeremiah the prophet. You got me? Yeah. You got me? See, I was, even I was a good husband when y'all broke broke that. You got me? Yeah. It was a marriage ceremony right here. You understand? Mm -hmm. When he brought them out and had, to, had, had his bride to clean up. You got me? Clean up. You see that? Yeah. Read. Hosea 2 and 16. You don't see the husband again. Read. Read on. And it shall be at that day, uh -huh. says Yahweh, Read. that thou shall call me Ishai. Ishai. Meaning, him go down to the bottom of the page. What does it say Ishai mean? Ishai means my husband. All right. See, so we're on this side of the cross. Spiritually, psychologically, we are the bride of Yahweh, the bride of Yahshua. You got me? You got me? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, we, see we, we, we didn't know that. See, we was married. <laughs> Believe it or not, we were married to the Lord and yes, the Lord and God mm -hmm. and Jesus Christ. You got to stand? Mm -hmm. And the Allah, Buddha, Krishna, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. You got to stand? Farah, Muhammad, Elijah, Muhammad, Joseph Smith. You understand? Mm -hmm. Buhallah, Buddha. You understand? The Royster. You got me? Moloch. You got me? We were married. Come on, the whole world.
still some married, you got me? Yeah. To the wrong one. That's right. You got me? Mm-hmm. Read on. Start that back. Okay. Come on. And it should be at that day. It's going to be at that day. See, whenever that day comes, see, when Pentecost comes to you, you got me? Or when he appeared to you, like he appeared to Moses, like he appeared to John, like he appeared to the 73. You understand? Know mm-hmm. Like he appeared to Elijah, like he appeared to Moses. You understand? Know He's going to appear to you. You got me? Read. And it's. And you better hope that appearance come before it turns too late. Read on. And it shall be at that day. And at that day. Says Yahweh. Read. That thy shall call me. Read, husband. Husband. You're going to call me husband, husband at that day. And, you got me? And, Not only am I your father and your savior and your redeemer. You got me? Mm-hmm. But I also your husband. Read. And shall call me no more. Damn. You ain't gonna call me no more, Lord. You ain't gonna call me no more saying Dr. Kelly is the Savior. You got me? Uh-huh. You ain't gonna call me no more Jehovah and God and Jesus Christ. You understand? Yeah. You ain't gonna call me no more Allah, Buddha, Christian, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. You got me? Yeah. For Rob Muhammad. You got me, Elijah Muhammad. You got me? Mm-hmm. Joseph Smith. You understand? Yeah. Dr. Harris. You understand? Anybody else? You got me? Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna call me no more that. You got me? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna clean you up. Read. Okay. You want me to go to Read, it? right? Keep reading right there. Uh-huh. Read on, please. Okay. Because Hosea's second chapter, okay. verse sixteen. Verse sixteen. Let's go. Okay. Um and for I will take away the name of Baal out of out of her mouth. Mm-hmm. And they shall no more be remembered. All by right. her name. Jingle remembered no more. Read. And in that day will I make a covenant for them Read. with the beast of the field uh-huh. and with the fowl of the heaven. That's good. Now, what's your next one? What you got? Next one I, I have. You get, get um, Matthew. Matthew. Okay. And okay. Just, then we go from, we come from Matthew. Second. Correct. No, we come from Matthew. Go to Acts 7. Okay. No, Matthew 20, Matthew, yeah, Matthew 17, chapter, come on, verse 1 and 2. Her name Bible, Read. Matthew 17, 1 and 2. Read on. And after the six days, Yahshua, taking Peter, James, and John. All right, so this is the same confirmation, the same fulfillment, which took place back here in Exodus. You got me, 70 elders, Aaron, they down in the by, you got me? Yeah. You got me? Yeah. It's like... Uh, Peter, James, and John the seven chosen. You got me. Mm-hmm. Read on. And bringeth them up into the high mountain. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And was transfigured All right. before them. Read. Having a vision. Read. And his face did shine as the sun. All right. Read. And his remnant was white as the the light. All right. So you're having a vision. That's great. Okay. So okay. Acts seven. And I'll take fifty-five. Acts seven fifty-five. Yes. Sir. And I want you to just go, I want you to just, uh, just come back up in that chapter for just a few. I want to show you something. Because they'll just say it, but this is, um, Acts 7 and, um, yeah, Acts, um, uh, Acts, uh, go to the 23rd verse. Just want to show you. Uh huh. 23rd, 23rd verse. Okay. Just want to show you that when it came 40, when Yah, when Moses turned 40 years old, you got mm-hmm. me? Read on. Hold on, name Bible. Uh huh. Acts 7 23. Read. And when he was full 40 years old. Come on, he, he who, he, he Moses, Moses, when he was full 40 years old, what happened? It took. It came unto his heart to visit his brother, the children of Israel. All right, see, that just that just validates okay. that what took what it doesn't say like that in Exodus uh, um um Exodus two, but that's what it is. You got me? Yeah. Forty years old, change, you mm-hmm. got me? Mm-hmm. Visit his brother, that's what I was telling you. Okay? So go to uh X to be five. we have what I told you. So this is a vision too, you're gonna see it, read. Okay. It's all visions through the Bible. The Bible number of visions. 
And the Bible relates. Read. Come on. Okay. Acts 7 and 55. Uh huh. But but he, being full of the Holy Spirit. All right. But he who, he Stephen in this fourth age, present kingdom age, was full of Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. was full of. Read. Look up steadfastly into heaven. Also, so he looked up steadfastly into heaven. So just like Moses up in the third heaven, mm -hmm. John up in the third mm -hmm. heaven, you got me? You understand? Mm -hmm. And the rest of them had vision in the third heaven. Elijah, you got me? John, they all in the third heaven, meaning, meaning they seeing. You got me? They're having a vision. Yeah. It's appeared to them right up in the here, Cabby, in this, in this shape and form right here. It's Yahweh Elohim, you got me? Yeah. He appeared to Stephen. He's seeing him in, right up in his head, Cabby, in the third heaven. Read on. He looked up in the heaven, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. All right, read. And saw the glory and of no Yahweh. Physical, in no physical location. So he saw the glory of Yahweh. Read. And Yahshua was standing on his right hand. Ain't that something? He's seeing it. Ain't that something? <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't feeling, you will see him. You understand? He's going to appear. Read. You better hope. You better hope. You're on his side when he appear. Okay. You, you in him when he appear. You got me? This is now. The life eternal is now. Read. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open. All right. And the Son of Man standing on the right hand. That's a beautiful story. Read. Yahweh. All right. Read. Then they cried out with a loud voice uh -huh. and stopped their ears read. and ran unto him. You know what I'm saying? Spirit couldn't stand the Spirit coming from the Read. Come on. And ran, up, and ran up on him uh -huh. with one accord. Read. And cast him out of the city uh -huh. and stoned him. Uh -huh. And the witnesses laid down their clothes uh -huh. at at a young, a young man's feet, whose name Saul. was Saul. Uh -huh. Read. And as they stoned Stephen, uh -huh. he called he calling upon Elohim. He called upon Elohim while he's being stoned. Read. Said. Say. Joshua. Joshua, my Elohim. Read. He, Elohim, receive my spirit. All right. And then, then he, he Yes. Yeah. All right. All right, so go to Acts, I believe, Acts 9, we got down there, right? Acts 9 and 3. Huh? Acts, uh, Acts 9 and 3. You just don't have the third verse. Now, more than that. Acts 9. You start at 3 and go all the way down to um, um, you go all the way down to um, verse 12, okay? Come on. Okay. Uh, Acts 9. How much time is on there? 27. 27? Yes. Go ahead. Come on. And as he journeyed, he came near Demarius. The, as he journeyed, he came near the, Damascus. The Damascus. Paul. Or the Apostle Saul. Apostle Paul. He, he, uh, how do you want to call it? This is the Apostle Paul. Apostle Saul. God. He's on a journey. He's going through Damascus, all right? Read on. And suddenly there shines around about him a light from heaven. All right, so suddenly shine around about him a light from heaven. Read. And he fell to the earth. Now he fell to the earth. He was knocked out or knocked down. You got me? The founder, he was knocked down. You got me? Knocked out. You got me? When Yahweh appeared to him, you got me? Moses was knocked out. See Moses' body laid down? He was knocked out. You got me? Mm -hmm. And everyone else that we have in the divine vision and divine revelation. You got me? Mm -hmm. You got me? Yeah. If you truly have one, you got me? Yahweh going to knock, whatever up there, he's going to knock you out and knock it down and out. You got me? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. You're you going you, you, you gonna to have a, a knock, straight knockout. You got me? Yeah. You understand? Read. And heard a voice saying to take him. Uh huh. So, so, who. Uh, die me. Come on now. And he said, Who art thy uh -huh. sir? Uh -huh. And Yahshua said, I am Yahshua of Nazareth. All right. Whom thy persecute. Who thou persecuted. Read. It is hard for thee to kick against the, the pricks. Read. And he and he stumbling and uh astonished astonished said Yahshua, what wouldst thou have me to do? Uh -huh. And Yahshua said unto him, Arise, Arise, and go into the city, Read. and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Read on. And the man which and the man which journeyed with him uh, stood speechless, uh -huh. hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Read. And Saul rose from the earth, 
And when his eyes yeah, were open. See, 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 so Saul is having divine vision by revelation, you got me? So when Yahweh Elohim, you got me, mm -hmm. appears to any man, that man is the only one that sees that, you got me? You know, it could be people around you, you got me? That man say he didn't see nothing, you no. got me? He's no. wondering, he wondering about what's going on with Saul. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? I don't see nobody around me. Right. But Paul, but Paul acting like there's somebody around him, mm -hmm. you got me? Mm -hmm. No, it was, it was someone that was inside of him. That's you right. you don't right. see this. You don't see what I see. Right. Because they ain't dealing with you. You know right. what I'm saying? He appeared to me right up here in third heaven. You got me? Read. And Saul arose from the earth. Uh -huh. And when his eyes were open, when his eyes were open he read. saw no man. Read. But they led him by the hand and brought him to the Uh-huh. Led him by the hand. He can't see nothing. Led him by the hand. Read. And he was three days without sight. He was three days without sight. Ain't that something? Read. And neither did eat no drink. He ain't eat, drink, and was out sight for three days. Read. And there was a certain uh, the Come on. disciple uh -huh. at the Maritus Read. Named uh, Ananias. Ananias. Read. And Yahshua said to him in a vision. Uh -huh. In a vision. See, there you go again. Read. Come on. Ananias. And he said, Behold, I am here, son. Uh -huh. And Yahshua said unto him, uh -huh. Arise, Arise. And go into the street which is called Straight, Read. and inquire in the house of Judah. Uh -huh. Go on, that, go on that, that street that's called Straight Street. So Yahweh Elohim not, uh, uh, showed, him, showed himself, appeared unto Mo, uh, uh, Paul, and knocked him out. You understand? And when he knocked you out and showed himself, if you're on the wrong street, you got me? He's going to put you on straight street. Read on. For one called Saul of, of Terrace. Come, come on, come on. Come for, on. Behold, be, for behold, he prayed. I'm on 12 now. Read. And has seen in a vision a man Read. named Amer uh, Amarius um, co come on. coming in. And putting his hand on him, mm -hmm. that he might receive his sight. Read. Then Amarius answered, Sir. See, we were deaf, dumb, and blind. You got me? You got me? Mm -hmm. We thought we were in light, but we was in Dark. straight darkness. That's you got me? Right. To, to the glory of Yahweh, mm -hmm. you got me? Appeared to us, you understand? Yes. You got me? Mm -hmm. And brought us into his marvelous light, you got me? Mm -hmm. You understand? Or to the true knowledge of him, you got me? Yes. How he truly is, how he actually exists. Okay, read. I have heard by many of these men uh -huh. how much evil he has done uh -huh. to thy sons uh, at Jerusalem. Are and you reading? Are you, wrote, are you reading what, what you wrote down? I um. Are you reading what you wrote down? Are you reading what you wrote down? Um. Are you reading what you wrote down? I'm going as far as you said for me to go. How far to go? Uh, this is 13, this is it. Go ahead. This, I just finished. Okay. You got to say that. Go to, uh, what you got next? What I have next is, uh, uh go to, go to, uh, um, I have 2nd Corinthians. No, no. Go to 2nd okay. Corinthians, um, 2nd Corinthians 3. Second Corinthians, the third chapter. Second Corinthians three and three. You start there. Go ahead. Start oh, here. Bible. Read. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be an epistle of the Messiah, uh -huh. ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit. All right. See, written not with 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 ink, or or written, you know, written engraven and engraven in, in in stone. You got me. Mm -hmm. Read on. But. With the spirit of the living Elohim, uh -huh, read. not in tables of stone, read. but in fleshy tables of the heart. All right, so that's picking up uh, uh, Jeremiah 31. You understand? Mm -hmm. Read on. And such confidence have we through the Messiah uh -huh. towards Yahweh. Uh -huh. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves read to on. think anything as of ourselves, read. but our Sufficiency is of Yahweh, Read. who also has made us able ministers uh -huh. of the New Testament. All right, read. Not of the letter, read. But of the Spirit. Read. 
for the letter killeth. The letter killeth. But the spirit giveth life. Read. But if the ministration of death written uh -huh. and engraved. See, in, a, all right, see, it's a law of sin and death. Read on. So if that was something, read on. Engraved in stone mm -hmm. was grace glorious uh -huh. so that the children of Israel could not stand fastly. Uh -huh. Behold the face of Moses. Read. For the glory of his uh, conscience. Confidence, read. Uh, which glory was to be done away. How... Shall not how shall not the ministration of the spirit be rather glorious? Uh huh. Read. For if the ministration of the condemnation be glory, then I mean much more doeth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. That's good. Go to uh second uh second Corinthians twelve. Yes, sir. Verse 1, come on. Okay. 2 Corinthians verse 12. And 1. No, no. I mean, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Read. It is not expedient for me uh, doubt, doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelation. Go again. See, it's Apostle Saul credited for writing 2 Corinthians 12 chapters. He said, Rud, read on. I will come to visions and revelations uh -huh, of Yahweh. Uh -huh. I knew a man in the Messiah more than 14 years ago. Right. Whether in the body, uh -huh. I could not tell, mm -hmm. or whether out of the body, I could not tell. Really? Joshua knoweth such a one caught up in the third heaven. Uh -huh. And I knew such a man, uh -huh. whether in body uh -huh. or out of body, uh -huh. I could not tell. Really? Yeah. Yahweh know it. Uh -huh. How that he how that he was caught up in glory right. and heard unspeakable words All right. which it is not possible for man to utter. Uh huh, that's good. Alright. Let me see here. Uh, go to uh Revelations. Revelation. Um, you had down Revelations. Uh, I have Revelation three, three and fourteen. Okay. Let me see. Just hold that. I'm okay. gonna get that one. I want you to get um, get this one. Um, Revelations, um, the first chapter. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Revelations one and one. In Revelations, start at verse eight, okay. and go down to um, verse. 15. Go ahead and read. Okay, Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. Read. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every... He cometh, behold, he cometh with clouds? Behold, he cometh with clouds. Okay, now this is John, this is for Patmos. All right? Okay. He's at the same, um, same location, I would well, say the same, uh, uh, he's in the third heaven, but he's elevated state. He got me, he's on an island, he got me, he's like... Moses on top of Mount Sinai, you got me? Mm -hmm. They're both in the third heaven. John, John is confirming Moses, okay? All right? Okay. So this is what he's describing, okay, what, what he was shown, okay, by Yahweh Elohim, Yahshua in a vision. John is a Patmos, you got me? Yeah. He's pressed for writing Revelation. So he says, what? Behold, he cometh with clouds. He, he cometh with, with clouds. So we understand that the cloud symbolize eternity where Yahweh abides, okay? okay. And you will understand the tabernacle pattern, right? Mm -hmm. Correlates with man's physical body, you got me? Mm -hmm. So you according to Leviticus 16 and 2, Yahweh said that I Yahweh will appear in a cloud, right? Mm -hmm. Above the mercy seat, you got me? Mm -hmm. You got me? So this cloudy light matter our brain, you got me, is when Yahweh 
when his eyes will appear when he wants to. You got me? Okay. So he's appearing to John and, and Moses and Isaiah and all the rest of them and, and Stephen and Paul or Saul right here in their clouds. Right? Right? Yeah. Read on. And every eye shall see him. No, start that back. Okay. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Uh huh. And every eye shall see, see him. See, every, every, every eye. See, every human being will have a vision. You got me? Okay. You got me? Boy, it's going to be a cold day. That's why y'all will have mercy and give, give a man kind, kind of a day. You got me? To accept. You got me? The true and correct name when you help me follow your faith. You got me? Because he's going to appear. You got me? Not, not, not. A physical body, one of the clouds outside, wherever state you might be at. Right, you got me? Right. No, he's going to appear right here. Do you see every eye going to see? Yes, sir. Read. In, in, on your cloud, in your head, cap. Read. And every eye shall see him. Uh -huh. And they also which pierced him. Read. And all. The ones that did this, they're going to they see him in this right here. Read. Come and on. all kindred of earth shall well before because of him. All right. Read. Yes. So be it. I, John, who, who, who also am your brother uh -huh. and companion Read. in tribulation Read. and in the kingdom and uh, patience of Yahshua the Messiah, was in the island uh -huh. that is called Patmos. All right, see, I'm going to get to a Patmos right here. Come on. For the word of Yahweh and for the testimony uh -huh. of Yahshua the Messiah. Uh -huh. Read. I was in the spirit I on see. the Sabbath day. See, I'm on the spirit on the Sabbath day. See, see, I'm on the on the spirit on the Sabbath day. Just like Moses was on the spirit on the Sabbath day. You got me? Yeah. Read on. And heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. All right. So now watch him. Now he's seeing Yahweh Elohim. You got me? Coming towards him. You got me? Yeah. Coming down through the through the through the seven ages. It's just to say that you got me. He's coming towards him. You got me. Mm -hmm. You got me. You see him here. Mm -hmm. Then you see him here, glorified. You got me. Mm -hmm. in, 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 in a revealing state, because you got it. He's got it. One arm here, when one like this. You got me. When he's up there like this with Moses. You got me. Mm -hmm. The the uh, uh, mystery has was 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 locked mm -hmm. or kept you know under wraps. You can say you got me. Mm -hmm. Now it's being revealed. You got me. Mm -hmm. To be to bring to reality what was going what's going on back back here, you understand? You got me. What's going on back here? Converting to reality. So uh, uh, John is seeing the reality or the revelation. Read, being rebuilt to read. Come on. For the word of Yahweh and for the testimony of Yah Yahweh. that back okay. right back when he saw he said he saw him coming off sort of voice. Read. Okay. A mini war or something. Read on. Come okay. On. Was in the island that was called Patmos. Uh huh. For the word of Yahweh and for the testimony of Yahshua the Messiah. Read. I was in the spirit on the Sabbath day. All right. Read. Day, and heard behind me uh -huh. a great voice as a trumpet. Uh huh. Saying, Say. What thou seest, write in a book. All right. And read. send it unto the seven assemblies uh -huh. which are in Asia. Until. Uh, Just read it. Okay. And until. Trump announced him. Come on now. Sam Samaria. Samaria. And until a Persians. Read. And me. until Thyatira. Read. And until Saudi. Saudi. And until Philadelphia. That, that's good. Go to the next verse. Come on. And I turned to see the voice that spake to me. I turned and see, and I turned and saw the voice that was speaking to me. Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candles. All right. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man, Read. clothed with a garment down to his feet, down Read. to the feet, Read. and girt about in coppers with a golden girdle. Read. His head and his hair was white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow, Read. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, all right. and his feet like unto fine bread. Uh, all right, so it's fire all the way through. Read. As if they were burnt in the furnace, uh -huh. and his voice, the sound of many waters. Uh -huh. That was fifteen. All right. If you got anything out this day, lecture, all praise and glory belongs to Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, our Savior and Brother, the King of Kings, the Ruler of Rulers, the Lover of our souls, Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Uh, let me see that. Oh, I got it. Never mind.
That will conclude another lecture given by the Omaha class college meetings. Um, we upload uh, our class videos after every class. And you can find our videos on um, I go to excuse me, you can find our videos on YouTube. Well YouTube search where you play your videos on and put in IDMR Omaha and uh, click on we have like close to 60 videos now so you can choose uh, one whatever one that y'all release you to 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 uh, to look at all right yeah. well, I'll give a further contact information in a minute and we hold classes here in Omaha class college meetings on Friday on Wednesday and Fridays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and on Sundays from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. all right mm -hmm. and I want to promote other IDMR classes that that are being uh, shown on YouTube, all right? The first one is, is IDMR Oceanside, California class. Now this class, which do, they do have videos on YouTube, but you don't put IDMR in front of this one, okay? You put in Memphis side class, okay? But you, but you do put it in YouTube, re, YouTube search, okay? Memphis side class. Okay, the rest of them are I, IDMR Syracuse class, IDMR Spanish Town Jamaica class, IDMR Artport class, IDMR Ontario class, IDMR Southfield class, IDMR Springfield class, IDMR Albuquerque New Mexico class, IDMR Tampa Florida class, IDMR Lansing Michigan class, all right? And I have two websites. I want to promote the first one. You go to www.plim.org, and the second one you go to www.eliyah.com. Okay, and uh, we have another um, class which is called the Meridian Mississippi class. They don't have any videos uploaded at this time, but they do what they call conference calls. Okay. If you want to engage in a live conference call, you call 1-712-770-4700 and put in 676-123 hashtag. And the conference calls that have already been recorded previously, you can go to 1-712-770-4709 and put in 676-123 hashtag. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, what I want to do, yes. Our official website of the organization, you go to www.idmr.net, and you, you can get, go, go to that website, get the history of the class, if you think it's uh, just something just came about. You see that is not a fly-by-night organization. And... Um, you know classes? Yeah, yeah our, our classes, uh, we... we um, like I said, we upload videos at every class. You go to IDMR, YouTube search for IDMR, put an IDMR Omaha, okay? Okay, and um, what else? Yeah, if, um, if any viewers, first-time viewers or viewers that have been watching uh, uh, for some time now, like I say, this is a school, not a church. We hold class in our home. Um, we invite you. We welcome you. If you if y'all have put in your heart and mind to come here, um, we ask that you pay attention. Um, if you feel more comfortable, we'll bring the class to you, okay? And um, if any brother out there that might have been watching these, these classes also, we invite you to, and welcome you to come, to come and sup with us in, in your travels, okay? And our contact information, our email contact is Yahshua, spelled Y-A-H-S-H-U-A, 47 at gmail.com. Okay, and um, if you have any family members um, that might, might live in close proximity of Omaha, Nebraska, and other classes might be too far for them to travel, they can always come here. So you can relay the information to them. Okay, and also your enemies. All right, and further contact information, you contact Dr. Stefan Williams. Phone number area code four zero two nine seven three eight nine eight seven. Also, you can contact Sister Rapunzel Williams, area code 
609-6588. Is there anything else? We hold classes on that. All right, got that. Okay. And, and I want to just reiterate, we hold classes here in Omaha, Nebraska, class college meetings on Wednesdays and Fridays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and on Sundays from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. I believe that's it, right? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, class, that concludes the uh, uh, lecture class for this evening. Let us all stand for the doxology that can be found in Judah 24 and 25. Now at the end, it is able to keep you from falling and to present you God before his presence with exceedingly joy. To the only wise Elohim, our Savior, to Yahshua Messiah, our Sovereign, be long glory, majesty, dominion, and power before all time, now and ever, let the class say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.